Hey, WCI traders and investors, Matt Buckley, the chief investment strategist here at Wealth Creation Investing. And after last week, folks, I think the market is still kind of standing around, uh, rubbing its face and getting kind of uh, try, trying to get over a hangover. And obviously last week, folks, just an uh, obviously incredible week in the United States and around the world from uh, the anniversary of 9-11 to the attacks uh, on America again on 9-11 to the devastating loss we suffered in Libya to the just absolute embarrassment of uh, the President of the United States telling the uh, Israeli ambassador or the uh, pre Premier Netanyahu that, uh, hey, I'm kind of busy when you're in town next month because uh, I'll be on Letterman. Uh, it's just, it's it's surreal, folks, uh, around the globe, what's going on. And then, obviously, the Fed coming out, the Fed chief being the, the Pope and saying there is no hell. Uh, and the market essentially rocketing off to the moon on Thursday and Friday. A little bit of a short squeeze, in my opinion, uh, because... Uh, Folks just didn't expect the Fed chief to go all in. He didn't expect uh, the Fed chief to say, uh, here's, here's all my chips plus my belt and my gun. Um, and what if it doesn't work, folks? I'm telling you right now, it isn't going to work because the Fed's policy is so disconnected from the reality of the Obama administration. So uh, the, the Bernack said he's going to hover his helicopter over the market until the jobs market recovers. He's just going to dump liquidity, buying really you know mortgage-backed securities and keeping low rates low through 2015, even though he's probably not going to have a job by then. Um, it's not going to work because the president, with our fiscal cliff coming and he's declared more or less class warfare um, and if he lets the quote bush tax cuts expire small businesses will not hire period small business owners whose taxes will go up on january 1st are simply not going to hire i know for a fact i'm one of them um, so until the it, the the portrait out of washington the picture the future picture out of washington becomes a lot more clear Businesses are going to sit on their hands, period. And I'm also a uh, consultant to Fortune 500 companies around the, the globe. Just got back from working with uh, Oracle down in Brazil last week. I can tell you to a organization that nobody is really hiring. Everybody's sitting on their hands. And a lot of businesses, especially here in the United States, are just sitting on a ton of cash. And they're not hiring. Mainly for that reason, because taxes are going to go up, Obamacare is going to hit. So the Fed chairman can do whatever he wants, and it's not going to work. Matter of fact, it's going to put us more in debt. And someday, folks, just like any business, he's going to have to clean up that balance sheet. So even though he's you know, doing like uh, the, the, the priest on the, uh, the Exorcist, the movie The Exorcist, and bringing you know, all the bad stuff into him onto uh, the Fed's balance sheet, eventually, folks those positions are going to have to be unwound. Eventually, folks, interest rates will go up. And when interest rates go up, our six, currently $16 trillion, but let's say uh, a couple years from now, $18 trillion in debt, the amount we're going to have to pay in interest on our uh, deficit are, is, is insane. So this is, again, as I've coined it, Operation Snake Eating Our Own Tail. This isn't QE3. It's Operation Eating Our Own Tail. And it's going to end poorly. And uh, I, not that I take any joy in that, but I am going to tell you I'm going to potentially profit like you read about in Profit on Stupidity magazine because it is stupid. And we have a lot of positions in our model portfolios that are hedged. Uh, so when this market really does wake up and start treating bad news as bad news, folks, markets go down a hell of a lot faster than they go up. So when somebody else fire, and, and I'm starting to smell smoke, to be honest with you, the stampede for the door is going to be horrendous. Do not get trampled. So uh, make sure you're either trading uh, with us in our Wealth Creation with Options program or uh, over on the uh, little more elite Top Gun Options side of the house uh, because we, we have positions on that are that are going to keep us safe uh, when the world ends. And it, I didn't say if. It, it's a matter of when. Israel's going to attack Iran. Oil prices, we have a, a couple USO positions on that are actually just doing phenomenal. You know, up about 2700 bucks in a, a couple months here, over 145 uh, percent, 170 percent on one trade, up 67 percent on another trade right now. And we did these trades for credit. These are options trades, folks, and we actually got paid to put these bullish trades on oil on, and it's just doing uh, extremely well, folks. I mean, uh, 2,400 bucks in a, in a month or so is, uh, is, is is some good work in my book. So, folks, this week is going to be. There's not a ton going on in the market. <clears throat> 
Monday's pretty much a, a dead day with the, with the Jewish holiday. Uh, tomorrow, some housing uh, information might be interesting at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. But this, folks, these used to be important to me. FOMC member Dudley speaks. I used to hang on every word. Now I really don't care. Now I don't care what anybody from the Fed says. The Fed chief has spoken. It, it, it's like, you know, Zeus came out, spoke, and he's going back inside. We really don't need to hear another word from him since he's essentially said open-ended asset purchases until something good happens. What if something good doesn't happen? Okay, uh, building permits on Wednesday, housing starts, existing home sales. Those are all going to be pretty interesting as well uh, on Wednesday. Thursday, unemployment claims, weekly unemployment claims. Uh, and uh, yeah, FOMC Lockhart speeds, yawn. I really don't care. This one will be interesting though, folks. The Philly Fed Manufacturing Index. That's going to be an interesting one. They're looking for an improvement in it. We'll see. Um, and then uh, on Friday, really kind of a quiet day uh, in the market. Really don't care that Lockhart's speaking again. Who cares? The Fed's already spoken, folks, and uh, it's just not good what they had to say. Okay, so starting to get to a point in the market where I think the market's going to actually start reacting poorly to poor news. Since we know the Fed's put all their cards on the table, all their chips in, and there's really nothing else the Fed can do. There's one thing the Fed can do, and that's lower the interest rate that it, uh, it gives to banks to hold money in reserve or even pay banks uh, a, a, a small rate to get them to loan. It's not going to happen, folks. So, again, I got one eye towards the exit. <clears throat> not going to fight the Fed. So, obviously going to potentially profit. Uh, but, uh, folks, I got to tell you. Uh, after the, <clears throat> and of course the media, mainstream media is ignoring anything that's going on uh, overseas. Could you imagine if Bush or Cheney were president and uh, Al Qaeda raised the black flag, their black flag over our Tunisian embassy? There'd be it would be breaking news, and uh, the networks would be covering it 24/7. Eh, yawn. And and they and they'd also be covering it if the president, if President Bush were flying to Las Vegas and then partying with Beyonce in New York. While uh, our uh, while our embassies burned, so th the media is going to do whatever it takes to get Obama reelected, and it's absolutely uh, disgusting in my opinion. So, folks, keep do your own due diligence, do your own research, get your head above the trenches. Don't listen to anything that's going on in the media, and figure it out yourself. Or come trade with us and uh, and and hear the truth, because uh, you're going to hate Wall Street even more than you did in 2008, 2009, uh, when this next leg uh, hits us, okay? So make sure you're hedged, all right? Gonna, gonna see you guys tomorrow with a, a market sit rep from Top Gun Options. Happy hunting, make sure you hedge.